Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new Derwin James and also Ezekiel Elliott on the squad. Now I do want to give a shout out to Isaiah Robinson for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the mid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, to the notification bell on, and comment down below Nota Gang. Now of course it would really help me out if you guys drop a like in the video and comment down below anything you guys want. Now I'm recording this video at actually 2am on the day you guys are seeing this video, so I don't know if I'm already at 200k subs. At the time recording this video, we're about 350 subs away, so we're probably very, very close by the time you guys are seeing this. So if you're not already subbed to the channel, hit that sub button down below. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. I know you guys badly wanted to see uh, me do Zeke gameplay and Derwin James, and I couldn't fit in it yesterday because of Herbert Chase Young, but should be able to squeeze in today. But let's go ahead and go over these cards. You guys can see Derwin James here, 98 speed with 99 acceleration 94 tackling 99 play rec 99 man and 99 zone with 97 hit power wow i mean this is an end game card right here this really is an end game card he's six foot two 90 change direction that's down of course because of sprinter uh 94 tackling you guys just saw man zone play rec all that's at 99 i mean the card is just filthy now of course abilities we're rocking out mid zone ko because you guys are know mid zone ko is still glitchy it activates no matter what uh zone he's actually in so dermal james yeah it's gonna be a beast and I will say as well with Derwin James, I'm not going to user him. I'm just going to have him playing safety, so hopefully he'll make some plays. Zeke, though, we are going to use Zeke a lot. Now, of course, my Cowboys team, uh, or at least somewhat Cowboys team, I have 25 out of 50 Cowboys. So his speed and excel is actually plus one than he would normally be. So he's at 98 speed, 98 excel, 99 carrying, 73 catching, 92 change direction, 99 break tackle, 91 trucking. I feel like this card is going to be filthy. I just love I, this card's gonna be crazy he also has 99 juke move and 93 spin move now in terms of abilities on him of course we're rocking out with jukebox i don't really spin so i don't think that i really need to run uh basic on him and the recuperation because we are going to run a lot so we got zeke we have derwin james let's get in the gameplay Looking to take your game in Madden 21 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So that is going to be my top three right there with Tom Brady, Dion, and Rod Woodson. And his top three. Of course, we're going to focus on running the ball here on offense as we might be able to break this one for a big run. Good tackle. All right, second and four once again. We're running the ball here. I'm going to try to truck over a couple people today. All right third and inches i'm gonna try a little inside zone here we definitely should be able to pick this up and we do so three okay runs to start off you know we picked up 10 yards on three runs nothing really too too crazy there i always try to like break a huge run every single gameplay and i'm just so close to doing it so far we almost had like a 60 yard touchdown run there but let's run another stretch here to time to the left side and zeke breaks the tackle all right fourth and four this is such a risky call here but i'm running it I think we can pick it up. I feel like we can probably pick it up with Zeke, and we are going to pick it up with Zeke. I really just hate running the ball on fourth down because it's just so risky. I'd much rather pass, but Zeke once again, big time run here again. All right, well, I think I found out what to run versus this guy. 0-1 trap seems to work very, very well versus his defense here, and uh, Zeke once again, big time gain and a juke move. All right, Zeke. He has definitely got the speed to take it all the way. He's got the jukes. He's breaking tackles so far. Card is looking good, and I went to an inside zone. Should have just stayed with the one trap, I guess. All right, I'm actually going to pass here, mix it up a little bit, and we're going to have Zeke open out of the backfield, so that's exactly where I'm going. And again, breaking tackles. So this guy has not stopped this play one single time. He has not stopped a one trap one single time so far. So yeah, of course, he's going to stop it now. All right, so uh, you guys saw third down, right? You definitely didn't see fourth down. And I'll, I'll tell you that right now. You definitely did not see fourth down. All you need to know, it it, it didn't work out. All right? It didn't work out. I didn't throw a pick, but uh, it didn't work out there. 
definitely, definitely did not go as planned. So you didn't see the fourth down, but we didn't convert there. I'm going to look out underneath and we get a sack with Chase Young. Now, what I'm really hoping we could do here is just force my opponent into making a bad throw, maybe a throw at a sack, throw under pressure, something. I'm actually blitzing Derwin James and he is extremely fast. So third and 16, hopefully we can get a stop here. I'm going to look out underneath, and we got some pressure on him, and we come away with the INT with Justin Reed. Wasn't Derwin, but Derwin may have helped with that. So we may have had a bad end to that first drive there, but hopefully we can end off and cap this off here with a TD on the second one. I am actually going to pass here, and it's third and 13. I think we're going to have right bumper open, Tyree kill. That's TD. All right, only 53 seconds left for my opponent to work with here. Now, it wasn't a Zeke TD, but at least we did get into the end zone. It makes it a little bit easier for me to run in the second half. That was a big time run right there from him with Barry Sanders. Good tackle, though, by Derwin James. So 33 seconds left now. Does still have two timeouts. I'm going to use her on Jamal. I don't want to use her on Isaiah Simmons. He's motioning. He's taking a lot of time here in between these two plays and we get some pressure that's gonna be an int and a great job landing and bounce Pappy. now since i do have three timeouts here i don't want to chuck a deep immediately i do want to try something to zeke here so we're gonna try a little screen pass we get out there and unfortunately he caught us and i'm gonna give one try here at a run play and then we're gonna go back to passing the ball so let's try to run it here which it looks like we got some decent block zeke he got the first i think no actually he didn't get the first down there but i'm probably looking to go deep to Tyreek Hill. We only have 11 seconds left, and it's starting. we have to at least get into field goal range here. So, man, I don't really see anybody open. Darren Waller, can I fit that in? Waller coming down with the catch. Big play. Big time catch there from Darren Waller, and that is going to make it 10 to 0 at halftime. Big time catch. So a big time play there from Darren Waller to make it 10 nothing before the end of the first half. So that definitely makes it a little bit easier and definitely adds like a bonus incentive really to running the ball here on uh, the second half as that could have been a pick for Derwin. By the way, my opponent so far, I don't think has completed a single pass and we have an interception. So we're doing really, really good versus the pass here. And we get some pressure. Darwin James coming away with the big six. I don't like to celebrate, but we got it for Derwin. Derwin James was just in the perfect place at the perfect time. And that court is just like so fast. If he gets an interception for you guys, he's taking back to the house. It's going to be really, really hard to catch him, especially if it's a situation like that, where like he catches it at about the line of scrimmage, really, he caught that pass. Yeah, you're just not going to be able to catch him there as Tony G. Good catch. So now my opponent is going to be forced here to really just start throwing the ball a lot more. If he tries to run it, he's just going to run the clock out. And that's going to be a penalty. That actually may be the first time that I've celebrated mid-play in a very long time. But Isaiah Simmons with the user pick, he threw right to me. And that is going to be it for the gameplay, guys. Zeke had 13 carries for 63 yards definitely had a couple of decent runs in there you know we had a couple broken tackles some decent runs some plays didn't really work out all that well but overall not too bad 13 carries that's decent you guys let me know down below what you guys think about the derwin and the zeke i really really like the zeke card definitely had a couple of nice runs in there and derwin james had that pick six so definitely a pretty solid gameplay so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below and let me know are you guys running derwin if you have many ways are you running him at middle linebacker and usering him or are you letting him like just go out there and do his own thing i personally feel like you should probably just let him go do his own thing like that speed and everything i like to have that over the top especially versus all the fast wide receivers we have right now with tyree kill everybody so Definitely incredible cards. With that being said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like on it. I'll see you guys next time.